Hey guys, hope you're well. So electron configuration looks weird, right? You know, the stuff you've maybe been seeing in class with like 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Like what does that all mean? Well, that's what we're gonna speak about in this lesson. So I promise you, I'm gonna make it super easy. It's actually really easy to understand where these numbers come from if you use your periodic table. And then it's literally like a little puzzle. It's actually quite cool. So we're gonna do quite a lot of examples. Um, the first one we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna give you the electron configuration of a certain element on this table, but I'm not gonna tell you who it is or what it is. And we're gonna go figure that out together. So we're gonna start with 1s2, 2s2, um, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p4. Okay. Now check this out, check how cool this is. This one over here corresponds, well, let's not use such fancy words. Let's say that this one matches with row one, okay? This two over here, that means row two. The three matches row three, okay? The next thing, so that's the first thing I wanted you to understand is that those numbers represent the rows. And, and let's quickly mention that these numbers, these numbers are the energy levels. They are energy levels, okay? Now we're gonna talk about the letters, the S and the P. So this first block, or this, sorry, this part over here, that part there, um, we can even color that in if you want to. So that whole part there, that is your S block. But now it's weird. Is row one, this block here, and this block here, they are also part of the S block. Okay, so those are all going to be part of the S block. So the row one just makes it, row one makes it a bit weird, but just remember that they part of the S block. Then this block here, all the way down. And, and the periodic table keeps going. I'm, I'm just showing you up to this level. But all of this, is what we call the P block, okay? Now your teacher might also mention a D and a F. Um, that's just for example purposes, but typically in grade 10, we're only gonna be tested up to the S, I mean the S and P block, okay? So this, this part here is our P block. All right, so you understand that so far, guys? You with me? So let's get started, and you're gonna realize how easy this stuff actually is. So we're gonna take this now, and we're gonna start at the beginning, okay? And we're just gonna cross, we're gonna, we're gonna cross over certain blocks, and we're gonna end up somewhere on this periodic table, and let's see where we end up, okay? So let's see which element has this electron configuration. So we start at the very beginning, okay? So we start at row one, because remember the one means energy level, uh, or row one. Then they say we must use the S block, okay? Now we said for row one, the S block was all of that, okay? Now how many blocks did they say we must cross off? Well, they said in row one, in the S block, you can cross off two electrons. Okay, so we cross off two electrons, there we go. Then we go to, now we over here, so now we go to row two, because that's what the two means, it means you're in row number two, okay, so we're here now. In the S block, which was all of these, remember, they said that we are allowed to cross off two electrons, okay? So let's cross off two electrons, perfect. Now we are over here, so we're still in row two, but now we're in the P block, okay? So we're in the P block now, but we're in row two, and so that's these, and they said you can cross off six electrons, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, excellent. Now we're gonna go to row three, okay? So row three is this one. And they said that we must go to the S block, okay? So that's the, the S block is, um, remember it's all of these ones, okay? So we're gonna, and, and they said we can cross off two electrons there, okay? Or two blocks, so we cross off two blocks. Then we are in row three, but now we're in the P block. So this is your P block. In row three, they said we must cross off four. And the last thing that you cross off that is what you have. So that is sulfur. How cool is that, guys?
So now we're gonna do a whole lot of examples. So just to let you know that this is the electron configuration of sulfur, okay? Because that's where we ended up. Something I wanna add or mention that's very important. These are called, it's called the electron configuration. So if you look at um, sulfur, it's got a 16 over there. So remember what that 16 means. That 16 is the atomic number which we learned in previous lessons that the atomic number is the same as the number of protons. So the atomic number is the same as the number of protons, okay? And remember, in a neutral atom, in a neutral atom, an atom that isn't positively or negatively charged, we've learned that the number of protons will be the same as the number of electrons. Remember the positives? must be the same as the negatives in a neutral atom, an atom that doesn't have extra protons or extra electrons. It's, a, it's an atom where the overall charge is zero, okay? So that then means that sulfur has 16 electrons, 16 electrons. Now, if you had to go add up all of these numbers, four, 10, 12, 16, you would see that these numbers also show us the number of electrons. Okay, so keep that in mind for other examples where, oh, oh yeah, I don't wanna complicate things now, but just remember that uh, these numbers are the number of electrons because in later um, examples, we're gonna start giving you atoms that are charged where the protons and electrons are not the same and then you're just gonna have to do one extra step, okay? But I'll tell you that when we get there. But for now, just know that we are busy. These are, we're just dealing with normal, neutral atoms that don't have any charges. All right, so here's an example. You have to figure out which element is this. So you could probably try this by yourself already um, if you really understood what we said in the previous part. So we start at the very beginning, okay? And they tell us we should start in row one, okay? So we start in row one, and they said that in the S block, now remember in row one, both of these are considered to be, or both of those are included as the S block. They said in that block, we can cross off two uh, blocks. Okay, there we go. Then in row two now, okay, so we're going to row two now. In the S block, now remember, this is your S block. They said in that one, we can cross off two electrons or two blocks, okay? Then in the P block, now remember your P block is this one over here. That's your, whoops, that's your P block. They said we can cross off six electrons. Okay, one, two, and you always start at the beginning on the left side, so this, this, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we go to row three. So we are in row three now. And in the S block, which is, all of this, remember, that's your S block. They said we must cross off only one. Now you can't just choose which one you wanna cross off. You have to start on the left, the way you read. So you start at the top and you go from left to right like that, okay? So you have to cross off that one because they said we're only allowed to cross off one. And so the part that you crossed off last, that is where you are. So we are at Na, sodium. Okay, that is sodium. Let's do another example. In the next example, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. Now, I'm gonna ask you to please go and write out the electron configuration for AL. So this is where you have to end up. Now, some of you are like, ooh, Kev, I don't know if I can do that. Well, remember, you start in row one. So you start in row one, okay? What block are we in right now? That is the S block. How many blocks do we wanna cross out? Well, we're gonna cross out two. Ah, well done. Now we're gonna move down to row two. So we are in row two. What block are we going into first? Well, this is your S block. And how many would you like to cross off? Well, we're trying to get all the way to here. So, okay, we're gonna cross off both of those. Now we're gonna go here. We're still in row two, but now we are entered into the P block. And in the P block, we're gonna go all the way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now we're going into row three. So we say row three. We're entering the S block, okay? So we say S. How many are we gonna cross off? One, two, okay? 
Now we are still in row three, but now we are entering the P block. And how many things are we gonna cross off in the P block? Well, only one because we wanna end off at aluminium. And so that is aluminium. Okay, let's do another example. So you need to figure out which element is this. Okay, so by now some of you are probably really understanding this, so go have some fun and see if you can get this one. So we start off at row one. Okay, so we're in row one and we are going into the S block first of all. You, you, you're gonna start getting much faster at this. Eventually you're just gonna be like, okay, 4S1, that means we're over here. That's the way I see it. Because if you practice it enough, you realize that you first have to go through row one, then you have to go through row two, then you have to go through row three, and you have to fill up everything as you go along, okay? But for now, we're still busy going through the basics. So it says you start off in row one, um, which is this one. We enter the S block, which is, remember both of these are part of the S block, okay? And then this is the other S block. And so in row in that row, you're gonna block off two. There we go. Now we are here. So we go to row two, S block, and we block off two. Then we enter row two again. Well, we're still in row two, but now we're in the P block, and we're gonna block off all six. Okay, and then we do row three, the S block first, then it's the P block, two, three, four, five, six. Then we go down to row four, where we enter the S block, and we must only mark off one. And so that where we ended up is potassium, okay. Okay, write out the electron configuration for calcium. Okay, so calcium is over here, but you have to start at the very beginning. So we start off in row one in the S block, and we're gonna, we're gonna take out both of those. So we took out two. Now we're gonna go down to row two, okay? And we're gonna enter the S block first, because that's this part, and we're gonna say um, S, and we're gonna block off both of those, so that's a two. Then we're gonna, over here, because remember, you have to go from left to right as you go through the rows. So now we're here, so we're in row two, P block, and we're gonna block off one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Then we're going down to row three, so we're here now. And we enter the S block first of all, so we say S, and we're gonna block off one, two. We're then going into the P block, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so three, P, six, and then we're entering into row four, the S block, and to get to calcium, you have to block off one, two. And there we go. Let's do two more examples, and then we're done. So which element is this? Okay, now you're gonna get faster and faster at this. So it says that we must start, we know that the element ends up in row two. Can you see that? Maybe some of you are already starting to realize that of course we're gonna go through row one and then we're gonna get to row two and we're gonna go right through the S block, but then we're gonna only go up to four places in the P block. And so oxygen is the answer. But let me show you how to do it more thoroughly and more slowly for those of you that are still just trying to wrap your head around how this all works. So it says that we start in row one, okay? And we do the S block, which is both of those, remember? they part of the S block. And how many blocks can we cross off? Two. Okay, then we're going into um, this one over here, which is row two. And we're starting off by going into the S block. And so that's gonna be one, and two, and then we're gonna go into the P block, which is this one over here, and we're only gonna mark off four blocks. So one, two, three, there we go. The one that you end up with, that is oxygen. Let's do one more example. Write out the electron configuration for AR. Okay, so AR is all the way down here. So what we can do is we start at row one, and we enter the S block, and we mark off both of those. You always have to complete the row before you can go to the next part. So for example, you're never gonna like only choose one of these and maybe like two of those and then three of those or four of those. You're never gonna say like 1S1, 2S1, 2P1, uh, 3S1, 3P3. You're never gonna do that. It always has to be complete. Okay, so you need to complete it. 
So you go all the way through, all the way through, all the way through to argon. And that's what makes it easy. So 1s2 we've done. So we scratched out, scratched out. Then you're going into row 2. Okay, so we're going into row 2. What block are you going into? We're going into block S. And how many blocks are we going to scratch out there? 2. Then we're going into block P. So we're going to say, but we're still in row 2. So you stay, say 2, and then P. You mustn't say 2SP like that, or 2S2P. We don't do it like that. You must say 2P and 2S. Okay, now in P, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we're going to go to row 3, So and we're entering the um, S block. So we're going to say S, and we're going to block off both of those. Okay, then we're going to go into row, uh, well, we're still in row 3, but now we're in the P block, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we end on 6 for argon. So we say 3P6. There we go. How awesome was that? That's an introduction, and so I hope that that all made sense on how to do electron configuration.